This is our bar. <laughs> Look at this. All the stuff here. Amazing selection. Top shelf is Campari. We definitely did quite a bit of drinking <laughs> down here. And it was necessary as medication. <laughs> this is the Great Hall where we have breakfast. This is Saul's chair right here, and they serve the breakfast right here. Amazing, 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 amazing place. This is part of the kitchen. Actually, I use this space to make yogurt. There's actually a perfect little incubator. This is super, super boiling water right here, and it actually comes out of here too. And I use this, I cover it, use this incubator. Beautiful, amazing kitchen. This is some of the yogurt I made. This is cheese yogurt. Can't see much, but that is the bay. It's nighttime and we're leaving here soon. This is the back hall of the house. And in here is where I did most of my pitching. And I do my meditation there. Rundao do, rundao do, facing that way because that is sunrise. So I use this room a lot. Amazing room, amazing place. Every room has a fireplace. <laughs> it's amazing. What is my, <clears throat> this is Undaudu. This is the Dao, the symbol of the Dao. The Dao. And here is an individual that is an inspiration for me and many others. A man who saw the vision of freedom and equality and who created the symbol for the Tao. Here's the great man himself. There's Saul. Happy birthday, 75th. Here's the wine cellar which was right outside of my room, right here. And this was my room. Pretty amazing, eh? Here's my bathroom. Here is the guest closet. <laughs> you can have all your wardrobes to as long as you are. This towel is actually needs to come out of here. This is, expands out. Another guest wing of the main. That's where my friend's staying. And a picture of the man himself. edition. This must be where he hangs out. <laughs> Look at that. Like a amazing. The rhinos. Drawings. Who's that? Got a dining room here. Good 
beautiful chair. Very cool picture. So that was quite the amazing stay here. And this is just a little bit. There is Brandon's house. Um, there's the guest house, another guest house, and ultimately uh, there's an immense, immense property that has its own mountain. So, it's a pretty amazing stay. This is what it feels like to be part of the 0.01%. I can understand the attraction to this lifestyle, but what if this lifestyle was everyone's lifestyle? Wouldn't that be an amazing planet?